So this is how my day used to start just a few months ago. Wake up, make a cup of coffee, turn on my PS4, go to the PlayStation Store, look for games to buy on sale, buy a couple of games, never play or think of them again. Now I have over 200 games in my backlog and a hole in my pocket, so how do I deal with my backlog and how should you? This step is pretty self-explanatory and it is to stop buying even more games because, you know, it's not helping the issue at hand. And yes, once in a while you will come across a game you've been waiting to pick up or a new release you are excited about, but I think you should ask yourself, am I going to play this game in the next 3 months? If the answer is no, then you should probably wait. Most of the time games that are on sale will be on sale again at some point and the chances are the longer you wait the cheaper they are going to be. Same goes for new games, although to be fair I am still pretty bad at this because I have the habit of getting games on launch day, but at least I can somehow justify it because of my YouTube channel as I am trying to cover big releases I am interested in as soon as possible. That being said, paying 70 bucks is pretty steep and sometimes by just waiting a couple of months you can get the same games for 50, like two of my latest pickups, Demon's Souls and Returnal. That being said, I didn't even play them yet and I don't really have plans on doing so in the next couple of months, so I could have waited even longer. What helps me stay focused is making a priority list, otherwise I will get completely lost because I am getting game suggestions all the time, which is great and something that I really appreciate because it allows me to find awesome games I wasn't familiar with, but at the moment I just can't really pick up even more games, so what I do instead is add them to my suggestion list. If I decide that I want to play those games right away, yes I'll get them, but if not I'll try to work them into my backlog list and get on sale list. What I actually use to manage my list is the PSN Profiles Chrome extension that you can use if you are on desktop. All you need to do is install it and that's about it, the link is in the description. After installing it you will see a new tab appear next to the profile tab and it's called, you guessed it, game lists. There you can create them, name them, add games to them and move games around by just dragging and dropping. Not that type of dropping. Thanks to it, every time I don't know which game to start, I just open PSN Profiles and go over my backlog list. Makes all this process a lot easier. Also because it's on PSN Profiles, you can even quickly access a guide and a trophy list to make sure that you are up for the challenge. I found out that if I try to play multiple games at once, I quickly lose focus and some of them stay abandoned in my backlog with a couple of trophies pop. Yes, I am talking about Jack and Dexter and I shamefully admit I didn't finish it yet. I do understand the need to decompress, take a break or play something else, especially if you are working on a multiplayer grind or just a challenging game so you can play another game at the same time, just don't fall into a trap of playing 5 games at once. Another issue for me with trying to focus on multiple games at once is the fact that when I tried that, sometimes I would need to relearn the mechanics from the start. For example, I was playing Max Payne 3, Far Cry 3, Payday 2, Call of Duty Cold War and GTA 5 pretty much at the same time and let me tell you, not only did I not finish Cold War and Max Payne 3 at the time, although I did go back for Max Payne 3, I had to relearn the controls and get used to them again when switching between those games so it took me even longer to finish them overall. I know that getting those shiny new games and playing them exclusively is fun and tempting, but if you want to have any hope in clearing your backlog, you should mix them up with your older games as well. The thing with older games is, first of all the longer you wait, the more they age compared to modern games and it's something you can already see with a lot of PS3 or even early PS4 era titles. I mean I'm not saying that they are necessarily ugly, but you get my point. Secondly, if they have multiplayer modes, you can get blindsided by a surprise server closure. To be fair, we do usually get a warning, but all of us have a life beside gaming and it can get in the way, so it's better to get it done and not worry about it. Thirdly, if you don't start playing them, they will never get finished and you ended up just wasting your money by buying them. I'm not saying to ignore new games you're excited to play by the way, just try to mix them up with games you've been putting off for a while. This is something that pains me to say, but sometimes you just have to let go of some of the games. Oh, I personally care about completion rate and it bothers me leaving games unfinished and as someone who works to buy my games I hate to admit to myself that I wasted money on a game I'll never play but sometimes it's just not worth it. From time to time you might find yourself considering either starting or going back to a game you genuinely wanted to finish at the time but it's just not that good or fun for you anymore. In that case I do think that the best course of action is to let it go and focus on games you actually want to play and have fun while doing so. I just believe that forcing yourself to finish games you don't enjoy is a one-way ticket to burnout from trophy hunting or even gaming altogether, something I'm sure you don't want. Let me know, do you have a huge backlog of games and how do you deal with it? Also, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to me as I make gaming and trophy hunting content at least once a week. Thank you for watching.